it's Alex from Android Central. We're here at the ZT booth at Mobile World Congress where we have the Grand Memo. Um, so it's a 5.7 inch device. Call it a phone, call it a tablet, call it a phablet, call it a Galaxy Note competitor. It is a very large smartphone we're dealing with here. Uh, running Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Fairly heavily skinned version of it. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, brightly colored 3D stuff going on the launcher. Um, kind of this cube effect when we scroll from side to side. And the app drawer as well. We get this uh, sort of staged 3D effect. That's very nice. Um, also got this virtual button pull-out area that you can see at the side. Um, the way that works, normally it's a back button. When it's minimized, press back to go back. Uh, you can drag it out to get access to more buttons. So you've got three down the bottom here, and you can also get the usual three plus multitasking. So that's in there. You don't necessarily have to hold down the middle key. Uh, so spec-wise, this is a uh, pull on the Snapdragon 6 or 800. There's some confusion over that, but it is the newest Snapdragon that's in this thing. Uh, there's an NVIDIA Tegra 3 version over there, uh, which used to be an earlier version of this handset, uh, not working so well in the demo area right now. Um, but uh, yeah, here we go. It um, comes preloaded with some fairly standard apps from uh, ZTE, some stock Android stuff as well. We've even got Temple run loaded. Um, so obviously dealing with very early hardware here, but it uh, is a hefty device. Um, Kind of channeling some of the design language of the Note, a uh, 30 megapixel camera around the back, uh, and a massive 3200 milliamp hour battery in here. Uh, so I'm not expecting to see this until the summer at the very earliest, um, and even then, probably won't be making a huge impact in the West. But there you go, very, very quick first look at the ZTE Grand Memo. Thanks for watching.